Gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the Civic Party and His Worship the Mayor? Ladies and gentlemen, before turning to the agenda for this evening, I would like to call upon Reverend William to open this meeting with prayer. Uh, please be seated. <coughs> uh, the, the first item on the agenda. Um, uh, are there any apologies for absence? Yes, Chair. Um, Councillor Brent Carter has given his apologies. Thanks. Uh, item two on the agenda. Are there any declarations of interest? No. Um, Item three on the agenda uh, is the appointment of the Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil 2019 to 2020. I call upon dep dep the Deputy Leader, Councillor Lisa Mitten, to propose the motion. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd like to say I am prepared for tonight's speech. <laughs> and like last year, I am prepared. Um, distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the Council to nominate Councillor Howard Barrett for the Office of Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil. Howard began his career in Vayner Quarry back in 1977. He left school on the Friday and started there on the Monday. He was there for 25 years until an unfortunate accident brought his career to an abrupt end. He was elected to the represent the Vayner Ward in May 2008 where together we began to learn the ropes of local government and over the past 11 years he has proudly represented both his community and this authority. He is a hard working councillor respected throughout the borough. Howard has sat on many scrutiny com committees including Brecon Beacons National Park and has done a sterling job as chair of planning over the last 12 months and I know that he will do an excellent job as mayor in the forthcoming year. But now, on a more personal level, a little bit more about my boy. I'm so, so proud of him today. Howard and I are more like family than colleagues. And that is because, as many of you know, I jokingly call him my second husband. <laughs> and that's because I nag him like a wife. <laughs> um, over the years, 
along with some great achievements for our ward and our borough. We have both faced some tough working and personal times together. I'm going to try and not look at him now because I can feel the tears coming. So. But we have. Life has thrown us some curveballs and we've always had each other's back and supported each other. And these days, he's more like a brother to me. So he truly is family. And talking about family, I know how pleased he is that his son Wayne has made the very long journey from Australia to be with him today. Along with, of course, other family members, not forgetting his brother Stephen, his sister-in-law Sean, his granddaughter Darcy, and of course, the family back in Australia. And I can't go without reminding everybody about the most important thing tonight, and that is that I can't wait to see Howard Barrett in the back of HB1, a car <laughs> and a number plate so aptly named for such a great guy. Mr Mayor, on behalf of the Council, I recommend Councillor Howard Barrett as a fit and proper person to discharge the duties of Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil 2019 to 2020, and I so move. Thanks. Um, I would like to call now on the leader, Councillor Kevin O'Neill, to second the motion. Thanks. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Mr Mayor, distinguished guests, fellow councillors, officers of the Council, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to second Councillor Lisa Mitter's motion to propose Councillor Howard Barrett as Mayor for the upcoming Municipal Year 2019 to 2020. Howard is a uni unique guy. He's uh, a popular councillor across the whole chamber, across the political divide. He has qualities for me that make him the perfect councillor. Highly visible and accessible to his ward, hard working and competent and persistent in representing his constituents. He is honest and has integrity. During our two years, as a part of the leadership group, he has supported us ably through by-election successes has become the go-to councillor when crisis starts. I call him the man from Del Monte. He always says yes. <laughs> as Lisa said, in addition to his other qualities, he is champion for the Citizens Advice Bureau and the Over 50s Forum. When recently I asked him at short notice to support me and become a cabinet lead for the neighbourhood services again, without hesitation, despite many other commitments and issues, he said yes and did an excellent job. Finally, as you know, his son live, uh, Wayne lives in Australia and he regularly visits. And this is the opportunity to, to stay with his family, his grandchildren, and it is a very, very precious time to him. When we were preparing for the budget submission this year, he felt it was so important to attend that council meeting to vote. He left Australia earlier, booked a separate ticket and came back to that meeting. Howard Barrett is that type of man. He's my type of man. I've no doubt whatsoever that Howard will fulfill the role of mayor with energy and commitment and will be an excellent representative and ambassador for the county borough. Mr. Mayor, I am honoured to second the motion by Councillor Lisa Mitten that Councillor Howard Barrett be elected as mayor of the county borough of Merthyr Tydfil 2019 to 2020. And I so move. Thanks. Is there anyone else that would like to speak to the motion? Chris? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Thank you, Mr Mayor. Mr Mayor, I've known Howard for a number of years, quite a few years. And they haven't all been good years, especially the last few years for Howard. So it's, it's absolutely wonderful to see him here tonight in good health and able to, to be able to enjoy his time as the first citizen of our wonderful county borough. Mr Mayor, it's been alluded to already. We may be political opponents, but I don't think we've ever, ever had a crossword. But I, that's not just me. I, I can't think, you know, Howard would be a hard person to argue with, and I, I don't think anybody here has got a bad word to say about him. So, yeah, this is an excellent occasion, and I wish Howard all the best, and I hope he has a magnificent year as our mayor. Thanks. Did, right, thanks. Okay, thanks. Did, did anyone else wish to speak to the motion? No. Well, uh, we'll put the motion to the council then. Thanks. Oh, uh, that's carried unanimously. Then thanks, thanks very much. Um, 
Well, just before I hand over the chains of office to Howard, I've just got one or two things to say, thanks. Uh, we've both had a wonderful year representing the borough. It, it's been lovely meeting people all the way from Bedlinog to Ponstickith, really. And I think the thing I most enjoyed was when the children from the schools came to the parlour year and, and we were asked, well, some of them had speeches prepared and we were asking questions and they're all voting and they absolutely loved it. One of the questions I asked was, should I write to Donald Trump to invite him to Merthyr? They were unanimously no, you know. Uh, they, 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 they were really interested and one little child asked me if anyone had tried to assassinate me. Uh, but, but I think I, I re my, my one regret as mayor is that I didn't invite a lot more schools here because the children really get something out of it. Then they go to the mayor's parlour and have a photograph wearing the chain. And when I was mayor last, I bumped into someone the other day, must be about 22 now. He still got a photo of m with me from eight, ten years previous. So I, I think in the future, the more children we get to the council, the better. Um, I'd like to thank Jane, Dennis and Peter that got me organised and got me to all my events on time. Um, and I'd like to th thank as well all the councillors because in Merthyr, the mayor's office has never been used as a political fo football and all the councillors have supported us all the way through the year. So I'd like to thank everyone for that, thanks. And finally, I'd just like to thank Howard. He, I've, I've always called him my apprentice. I, got, uh, I was on the council four years and he seems to have followed me up uh, all, all the way, really. But I wish Howard all the best for the coming year. And I'm sure everyone here will give him the 100% support, like they've given us. Okay, so thank you very much for the past year. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and, uh, right. Thanks. Um, the next item on the agenda is the appointment of the Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tidville, 2019 to 2020. Um, I call on Councillor Sherelle Jago to propose the motion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the Council to nominate Councillor Malcolm Colbran for the Office of Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tidville. Malcolm moved into Bedlinog uh, from a small village of Horam in East Sussex in 2003. He moved there to run the local post office, a hub at the heart of our community. It's not just a regular post office in Bedlinog, though. He sells all sorts there, all of which are provided from feedback from the community. This proves that he listens to what people want and does his best to help anyone in need. Every Halloween, the post office becomes haunted when Malcolm stages over 30 different attractions that walk and talk. He doesn't just sell, what, what he doesn't sell there, he will get for you and even deliver it to your own doorstep. He has always supported community projects and activities, particularly those focused on children. He regularly supports local primary schools and Bedlinog Little Cubs childcare setting with their fundraising activities and events. Every year he has supported programmes that work with underprivileged children in both Merthyr Tidville and Blaina Gwent, which I must say the families are ever so grateful for. He really does help make Christmas special for some of the most vulnerable families we work with. Despite his often hard exterior, he is caring and always smiling, even if it's underneath. <laughs> I have witnessed him being more than happy to go in the stocks and have wet sponges thrown at him at local fundraising events to raise money for charities and worthy causes. Malcolm was elected to represent the Bedlinog Ward, which covers the communities of Bedlinog and Trelewis, in May 2017 with me a role he has embraced and continues to enjoy thoroughly. Since then, he's founded Kids, Merthyr Kids Count, which works with social services and healthcare professionals to provide bundles of clothes, toiletries and toys to those in greatest need. He runs a school uniform exchange scheme from Bedlinog Post Office, and this helps families on tight budgets. He provides a reverse advent calendar, adding an item every day to make a Christmas hamper, 
which he then donates to the programme Llamai in help to help them support homeless women and victims of domestic abuse. He also runs weekly game, games nights for the youngsters of Bedlinog during the summer time and co-delivers our own national play day event in our local community with me. Councillor Colbran is a loyal councillor and those who know him will have confidence that he does not take his responsibilities lightly. He will work tire tirelessly with determination to meet the expectations of our residents of the county borough and that of our fellow councillors. I know he would be honoured and feel privileged to be appointed as the Deputy Mayor of Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council and would carry out his duties with pride and to the best of his ability. He would not only serve the south of the County Borough but the whole of the County Borough with integrity and commitment. Mr Mayor, on behalf of the Council I recommend Councillor Malcolm Colbran as a fit and proper person to discharge the duties of Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil 2019 to 2020 and I so move. Uh, I call on Councillor Geraint Thomas to second the motion. Distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the council to second Councillor Malcolm Colburn for the office of Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil. I believe Malcolm is the first Englishman and the first resident of Linnog to be nominated for this honour. Malcolm and I share a passion for sport, in particular cricket and football. I support Glamorgan and Liverpool, Malcolm, Sussex and Brighton and Hove and Albion. Last week, Glamorgan beat Sussex in a high-scoring game at Hove, winning the game by hitting a six off the last ball of the match. However, his beloved Seagulls rolled over for Manchester City to course <laughs> to the Premiership trophy. <laughs> Terrible. Malcolm organised sporting games on the Belinog Rec on a weekly basis. Wouldn't it be fabulous if the Belinog Cricket Club play there once again? Now there's a challenge for Malcolm. He loves a drop of whiskey with over 50 bottles of single malt in his collection. Obviously, he's not a very big drinker. <laughs> his favorite is the bottle of House of Commons single malt he won in a raffle last year at the Merthyr Rising, courtesy of our Member of Parliament. He has a knowledge of music which is second to none, and a very taste for the great, for the t a very taste, from the great Bruce Springsteen to the Oskewa independent band Carter the Unstoppable Sex Machine. <laughs> Malcolm, you've earned the right to be Deputy Mayor, your hard work and dedication to your community is exemplary. You, you may have not been born in the borough or in Wales. <coughs> However, you must have had a blood transfusion at some point, as you know have poetry in your blood and music in your soul. In the words of the boss, this is your hometown. <laughs> My Malcolm and at Spridolig Edig and Anghagoil Ak and Delong, Delong Poblach. Mr. Mayor, I second the motion by Councillor Cheryl Diego that Councillor Malcolm Colburn is elected as Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil, 2019-2020, and I so move. Um, is there anyone else who would wishes to speak or amend the motion? Okay, Councillor Roberts. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, it, it's not a secret that um, I was going to do this this evening, uh, so I'd like to make an amendment um, to the uh, nomination and nominate Councillor Scott Thomas, if I may. Uh, is there a seconder? Second. Uh, do, do, you, do you would like to make yes, the I speech? Would, yes, 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 thanks. Thank you. Distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the council to nominate Councillor Scott Thomas for the office of Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil. Elected for the first time in May 2017, representing the Merthyr Vale Ward, Scott worked tirelessly during the campaign and every day since to make sure that the residents of the ward are represented. Born and raised in Merthyr Tydfil, Scott is a Welsh speaker who attended a school read away. Scott has been interested in politics since a very young age and has always wanted to be the mayor of our fine county borough. He took the first step to achieving his goal by becoming the deputy youth mayor in 2011 and was a founder member of the Merthyr Tydfil Youth Forum. Not a, not a lot of people know this, but Scott was heavily involved with bringing the skate park to Merthyr Tydfil. A true advocate for the younger generation, Scott has served as the youth officer for the Merthyr Tydfil constituency Labour Party. 
Mr. Mayor, on behalf of the Council, I recommend Scott Thomas as a fit and proper person to discharge the duties of Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tidville for 2019 to 2020, and I move. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Isaac has seconded the motion. Would you like to say something? Yes, please, Mr. Mayor. Distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the, com uh, of the Council to second Councillor Scott Thomas for the Office of Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tidville. I have really got to know Scott since his election in 2017 for the Merthyr Vale Ward. In that time, I have found Scott to become one of the most hard-working councillors it has been my pleasure to know, be it part of the planning committee or pursuing complaints brought to him from his residents of Abavana Merthyr Vale. He, ta he tackles each one with a fierce determination to get the best <coughs> for his uh, constituents. I have always been of the belief that the residents of Merthyr Tidville, County Borough Council, are ready to embrace change. We look at the national media today. There are various articles stating that young adults have become disinterested in politics as they feel that no one speaks for them and the government, be it local or national, is top-heavy with what they see as white, middle-aged men or women who have no understanding for their needs. I was mayor in 2015 and 16, and at the tender age of 54, was the youngest of what was known as the chain gang for that year. We have the chance today to send a message to the town. We believe in the young of our town. By electing a young person to a position of authority, the message being that they can also achieve a position of leadership if they wish to do so. Mr. Mayor, I second the motion by Councillor Darren Roberts that the Councillor Scott Thomas is elected as Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tidville 2019 to 2020, and I so move. Uh, does anyone else wish to speak to the amended motion? Oh. Can I give notice of further amendment, please? Is that okay, Mountain Officer? Right. I give notice of further amendment. Second. Yeah, well, we should do your amend further amendment now, then. Thanks. A, a member here, off and on for over 40 years, I've never seen a shambles like tonight, and I don't like it. Because on a mayor's night, and anybody who's been a mayor should realize it's a very, very important night. It's a very stressful night for the incoming mayor, the deputy mayors. I, don't, I didn't expect to see this tonight. I expected uh, to meet oh, before. Me. Is this an amendment? This is my oh, amendment. Oh. Yeah, this is my, it's my further amendment. I expect them to meet before to sort it out. So my further amendment is, I don't want any embarrassment on the mayor's night. There would have been so many like I have and other people here, as many uh, uh, members here. My further amendment is that Councillor Malcolm Colburn is the deputy mayor from 1919 to 1920, and Councillor Scott Thomas is the deputy mayor from 1920 to 1921. Uh, tw no, 21 to 22, actually. You, you a bit later. Then that will bring in the new election. There'll be a, a time up for every period. I'm, stand, I'm standing on myself. But that then will be the opportunity to sort out. So I think to be fair and cut this, this acrimony out, let's have a, a good convivial night. Councillor Malcolm, uh, Councillor Malcolm Colburn now, following year, uh, Councillor Scott Thomas is made Deputy Mayor of Merthyr Tidwell County of Council. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking, if we did that, it could always be overturned next year. You see, no matter well, what we vote this well year. Well, that's 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 you know I, I you know yeah. I don't I don't think it would be could it be minister council wouldn't it? You know, yeah. whatever you decide, I'll accept it. So, is there a seconder for that? I formally second that. Right. Yeah. Does anyone want to speak speak on it? Yes. If you yes. Uh. Oh, sorry. 
Mr Mayor, can I just check with our monitoring officer tonight? I don't know if that amendment can stand. I understand what Tony's saying, and I do echo some of the sentiments of his actual um, speech there. But I don't know if that can stand, because the due process of this council is that we have the annual AGM, and then that voting takes place then. So I appreciate what he's saying and, and the embarrassment, etc. And I, I totally understand that. Uh, of two lovely gentlemen, by the way. Let me just add that. But if I remind colleagues that it is due process, that in the AGM, that is when the process actually occurs. So next year, Mayor, uh, it has to be voted on again and nominated, and so does the uh, the deputy. Yeah, my view on that is simply this: that I can't see how we can vote this year to fetter next year's decision, which in effect that's what would happen. So um, I think the advice I would give would simply be to follow the process we were going to do today. We will vote for both of them, and if the um, proposal is next year for Scott Thomas, then so be it. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. Are you withdrawing the amendment? Oh, th right. Okay. Mr. Mayor, sorry. To clarify then, before we go on to the uh, amendment, can I just clarify for myself and colleagues that we will be voting firstly on the amendment for Scott Thomas to be Deputy Mayor, and then <coughs> we will be voting on uh, whether uh, Councillor Malcolm Colbran will be Deputy yeah. Mayor. Yeah? Yes. Okay, I was you. just... Yes. yes. But if, 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 if the motion for Scott Thomas is passed, then... It fail at that point, we move on. So I'll put the amended motion to the council now. Uh, the amended motion, of course, is to vote. Could, vote I, could I just ask, um, I'm, not sure, I'm, I'm sure Simon might rule me out of order if uh, appropriate, but could there's two cards? This is the first time ever that I've, I've known of two, uh, two candidates for deputy mayor. From my point of view, and I'm not sure about other members, but I think it would be useful to know and listen to the two candidates and see what they both got to offer the polls, because it's a vital polls. So um, what both feel they can offer? Uh, Chair, th that, that's not the process that we use. That's, that's never been the case bef before, and I would suggest we just carry on with the process that we've set aside for tonight. So I'll put the amended motion to the council, and the amended motion is to vote on Councillor Scott Thomas as Deputy Mayor. That's clear. That's clear. Everyone, right. So we're voting now on Scott Thomas. <coughs> ah, so the, the mo motion fails by 17 votes to 15. So uh, the motion's not carried. <coughs> So I put now the original motion to the council to vote on Councillor Malcolm Colburn uh, as mayor. As deputy mayor. Yes, sir. That, that, uh, that, that was carried, 31-1. Okay, thanks. So um, that concludes this part of the council meeting now. So, uh Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the Civic Party to leave the chamber?
Councillor Howard Barrett, I now ask you to take the oath of office as Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil. Will you please take the Bible in your right hand? Having been elected to the office of Mayor, I require you to make the declaration. I, Howard Barrett, of 25 Lintar, Kevin Coit, Merthyr Tydfil, having been elected to the office of Mayor, hereby declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I, under, I undertake to observe the code for the time being and for the conduct which is expected of members of Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council and which will be revised from time to time. Councillor Howard Barrett, will you now sign the declaration? I would now count to sign it. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. We now move on to the Deputy Mayor. Councillor Malcolm Cromwell Brown, I now ask you to take the office uh, oath for Deputy Mayor of the County Borough of Merthyr Tydfil. Will you please take the Bible in your right hand? Having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor, I require you to make the declaration. I, Malcolm Cromwell Brown, of 36 High Street, Bedlinog Three Harris, CF 46 6 RP, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor, hereby declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I undertake to observe the code for the time being as for the conduct which is expected of members of Merthyr Tidville County Borough Council and which will may, may be revised from time to time. Thank you. I now get you to sign the Please sign the office of Secretary. Thank you. I will now count to sign. Congratulations, Mr. Brown. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I now invite you to address the Council and your guests. Thank you. Distinguished guests, fellow councillors, officers of the Council, ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud, extremely honoured, to be inaugurating as the Mayor of the County Borough of Militarville. I am grateful for the support and confidence offered by my fellow councillors for me to carry out this important role and may I offer my sincere thanks to Deputy, Deputy Leader Councillor Lisa Mitten and the Leader Councillor Kevin O'Neill for proposing and seconding me for this prestigious position. May I also thank Reverend Tim Williams for agreeing to be my chaplain for the coming year. This is a, a very special occasion in my life to receive this honour with my family and friends present. I feel I must give a special mention to my son who has travelled from his home in Australia to be with me here this evening for, and for my granddaughter Darcy's 18th birthday, uh, which is two weeks' time, celebration. Also, special thanks to my brother and sister Stephen and Sean for all their help and support over the last few years during my illness, and uh, they have been extremely amazing. I'd like to also mention my parents and sister, who are sadly no longer with us. I know they will be so proud of me tonight, uh, or proud of me today. And Jane, I got on the bottom, do not cry, but I haven't cried yet, so I'm okay. <laughs> I've got a very hard act to follow in Clive and Leslie. I've worked tirelessly over the past year, second time around for Clive. I have had a couple of opportunities to stand in the deputy mayor, as a st stand in, sorry, as the deputy mayor over the last year, only when there are no buffets present in the, in the celebration <laughs> for Clive. 
Because as we all know, Clive loves a buffet. <laughs> I know they have been accredited with the Tidal County Borough, and I would like to thank you both on behalf of the County Borough for your sterling work over the last year. Thank you. We also, also can't congratulate my colleague, Councillor Matt Common, on being appointed the Deputy Mayor, and I look forward to working with him to promote this wonderful County Borough of ours. A warm welcome to our Youth Mayor, Christian Majestic. Sorry, Christian. Uh, who was elected last Friday, I no doubt we'll be working closely together uh, during my office. And can I say what a fabulous night last Friday was? Well, thank you, Sam. Thank you. Although many charities wrote to me requesting consideration for this year's mayor's appeal, I have selected a charity that has helped me personally with my treatment and also some of my family, and that is why I've chosen a thrill and cancer support with the Tidville. All funds raised will go towards the wonderful work they've already been taken by Macmillan at the Special Cancer Unit at Prince Charles Hospital. Finally, may I thank you in all for coming today. I look forward to seeing you all in the evening reception at Morris Castle Golf Club this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I would now like to present a bouquet to the outgoing consort, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Leslie Sullivan. Jane. Much. We'll go on with the reg rest of the agenda this evening. Uh, agenda number five, appointment of committees 2019-2020 to consider the report of the Chief Executive. Uh, Mr Mayor, I uh, move to that, uh, that the appointment committee 2019-2020. I move that report. Do you have a second there? I second that, Mr Mayor. Any questions? Any comments? Can I put in a vote, please? Uh, that's been carried. Thank you very much. We go on to item number six, representatives, representatives to the other bodies, 2019-2020, uh, to consider the report of the Chief Executive. Mr Mayor, once again, the report for representative to other bodies, 2019-2020, I so move that report. I second that, Mr Mayor. Sorry, um, the Comtaf Health Authority and the uh, um, Merthyr Leisure Trust. There are vacancies there. Come, can you see the relevant officer, um, councillor, concerning the selection for that? Thank you very much. Thank you for proposing the document. Can I? Any other questions? Any other comments? Can I put that to the vote, please? Councillor Amos, was that an amendment you were making to the... Um Councillor Amos, the reason I ask that is that there's delegated authority for appointing uh, posts to the, um, to the various committees. So that can be done by a delegated authority outside of today. So you withdraw the, uh, the amendment? Yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you.
that's been carried. Thank you very much. Move on to uh, item number seven, the committee cycle 2019-2020. This is the report to Chief Executive. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I move to adopt the committee cycle 2019-2020. to 2020. I second that, Mr. Mayor. Any questions, members? Any comments? Can I put out the vote in, please? The next item is, is to deal with any urgent business or correspondence. Uh, we have none. And item, item nine is to receive any communica communications received by His Worship the Mayor. Simon Jones, do you have any? Mr. Mayor, yes. We have apologies received from uh, Gerald Jones MP, Dawn Bowden AM, Premier of the County Borough, Major Tudor Price MBE. Uh, thank you very much, members. That concludes the Zoom. Now for the second.